Are you ready for the word? Yes. How many of you here believe that sometimes it only takes one word? Everybody say one word. Sometimes it only takes one word from God to be able to speak to you. Kumisan hindi mo na kailangan ng mahabang preaching. Kumisan hindi mo na kailangan ng mahabang paragraph. Sometimes, I'm not saying all the time, but sometimes, one word from God can speak to you. Sino po naniniwala doon? Magtaas ng kamay. Hallelujah. Sometimes it only takes one word to help you, to push you, to encourage you, to empower you. One word from God that can change your life. That's why today, I'm going to give you one word. And after that, we will pray and close in prayer. <laughs> Are you ready for a one word? Naniniwala din ako na, you know, uh, as our worship team has prepared this song na para baka sinasabi sa atin na ang pinaka-theme ng mga songs that we were singing a while ago, it's about the faithfulness of God in our lives. It's about this faithful God who keeps His promises. Everybody said amen to that. You see, every time we worship God, we respond. So I believe this word today is a response to the goodness, to the kindness, and the faithfulness of God. That's why I want to challenge you today with this one word. Are you ready for one word? One more time. Are you ready for one word? What is that one word? That word is the word continue. Salamat po sa mga nakareceive. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Continue. If you believe that God is faithful, God is good in your life, tuloy lang. Everybody said amen. Hallelujah. Everybody say continue. Could you please tell your neighbor right now, continue. Hallelujah. On the other side, tell your neighbor, tuloy tuloy lang. Come on. Hallelujah. Second Peter chapter 3 verse 18. Let's read this word. It says here, but what's the word? What's the word? Continue to grow and increase in God's grace and intimacy with our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. May He receive all the glory both now and until the day eternity begins. And everybody said, Amen. and everybody said, Amen. when you are tempted to quit, Amen. when you are tempted to quit, Tagalogin natin. When you are tempted to quit. Hallelujah. Mukhang mas maganda pakinggan sa Tagalog eh, no? Hallelujah. Sige, it's up to you kung Inglesero ka, Inglesera ka, sabi mo continue. Kapag uh, feel mo naman yung Tagalog, sabi mo lang, tuloy lang. Everybody said, Amen. When you want to give up. Mukhang mas malakas yung tuloy lang. Eh, no? When you are challenged to stop. When others tell you it's not worth it. Hallelujah. hallelujah praise God. Pakita pick sa baligat sabi mo sa kanya, tuloy lang. Come on, hallelujah. Continue. That's how you respond to his faithfulness. Alam niyo, matutuwa si Lord sa iyo kapag alam mo, tapat siya sa iyo, mabuti siya sa iyo, at sinasabi niya sa iyo, kung, kung naniniwala ka dyan, magpatuloy ka anak. Huwag kang susuko. Tuloy, tuloy lang to. Philippians 2, 12 and 13, it says here, My beloved ones, just like you've always listened to everything I taught you in the past. Paul is the one speaking here. I'm asking you now to keep following my instructions as though I were right there with you. Now you must, what is the word? You must continue to make this new life fully manifested as you live in the holy awe of God. A while ago, we were just, wow, your faithfulness will never let me down. You are faithful. You never give up. Wow. In awe of how good God is now. You must continue to make this new life manifested as you live in the holy awe of God, which brings you trembling in His presence. God will. Come on. God will. 
continually revitalize you, implanting within you the passion to do what pleases him. Everybody said amen to that. Continue no matter the circumstance. Magpatuloy ka lang kahit na anong sitwasyon mo sa buhay. Continue kahit anong pinagdadaanan mo sa buhay. Come on! Amen! Pakitignan mo ngayon mo kanong katabi mo kung may pinagdadaanan ngayon yan. Hallelujah. Mukha ba yung may... Mm, hallelujah. Sabi mo sa kanya, continue! Hallelujah! Continue despite your lousy feelings. Di ba ba totoo ko pa minsan-minsan? You know? Paminsan-minsan, pasumpong-sumpong ka. Yun, yun, yun. Ngayon, okay ka. Maya-maya, hindi ka na naman okay. You know? Don't trust your feelings. Continue kahit iba yung nararamdaman mo ngayon. Kahit, kahit sinasabi ng emosyon mo, malungkot ka ngayon. Continue! Amen! Utusan mo yung feelings mo. Continue! Hallelujah! Continue and see beyond your pain. Tuloy lang! Kahit may mga masasakit na karanasan ka sa buhay. Continue. Why? Because it's worth it. Philippians 1.6 tells us, And I am certain, Paul said, that God who began the good work with you, He started something good in your life, and it says here, He will, come on, say it again, He will, he will continue His work until it is finally finished on the day when Christ Jesus returns. You know what God is saying here? What He started, He will finish. And challenge lang sa'yo, continue. The, uh, the Passion Translation tells us, Paul says, I pray with great faith for you. I think I have to agree with that prayer. In fact, I can just declare that prayer right now. I pray with great faith for you. Because I'm fully convinced that the one who began this glorious work in you will faithfully, see, do you see the word faithful? Will faithfully continue the process of maturing you and will put his fini finishing touches to it until the unveiling of our Lord Jesus Christ. <laughs> you know what this verse is telling us? God will not stop working in you. Para yung kantaho natin na, if you're not done working, then I am not done waiting. Everybody say, continue. Come on, Martha. Everybody say, continue. Hallelujah. Maybe this is just a word that you need today. One word. There has been voices in your ears telling you to quit, to give up, to throw in the towel. Telling you it's not worth it. And the Holy Spirit is speaking to you right now. Tuloy lang. Why? Because when you continue, you grow. Continue the process. Trust the process. Continue to grow. Continue to increase. You know why? Because maturity happens when you continue. Tuloy lang. Don't stop. Don't give up. Don't throw in the towel. Let me ask you. How many of you here are expectant of a major breakthrough before the end of this year? Magtaas ng kamay. Come on, come on, come on. Come on, come on. By faith. Come on, by faith. Faith yan. Hallelujah. Yung huwag ka tumingin sa sitwasyon. Come on, yes. Pumalak pa ka dyan ako yung nag-agree. Hallelujah. Are you expectant of a major breakthrough before the end of this year? Continue. Why? Because breakthrough comes when you continue. You see, you have to understand that life is like a marathon. It's like a long distance run. You catch your second win when you continue. I'm your, did you understand that? Sino po rin na yung word na second wind? Can I see a, a, a ha, a, some hands? Those who understand what second wind means? Wala. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Ulitin ko. Sino po yung ng second wind? Okay. Wow. Could you please ask your neighbor? Hindi mo alam. Hallelujah. 
Ooh, I'm surprised. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Sabi ko pa naman, you catch your second win when you continue. What is the second win? Ito po kasing term na to ay ginagamit ng mga atleta. No? The athletes like in boxing, in, in swimming, or uh, most importantly, sa mga runners, especially the marathon runners. What is that second win? Second win is defined as it is a phenomenon in distance running such as marathon whereby an athlete who is out of breath, maybe halfway uh, the run, he is out of breath and too tired to continue. Suddenly, everybody say suddenly, yung, yung athlete talagang is running out of breath, talagang pagod na pagod na siya. Yung, yung halfway, maybe if it's a hundred kilometer run, maybe uh, a halfway, sabi ng ini, may bumubulo sa kanya, give up ka na, may, nahihilo ka na, you know, stop. And then it says there, whereby an athlete who is out of breath and too tired to continue, suddenly, everybody say suddenly, suddenly he finds the strength to press on a top performance with less exertion. Ang tawag dyan, second win. You know, pagod na pagod na siya, suddenly an adrenaline just burst out of his system. He, he gets a new strength, a new power to press on until the finish line. When you are at your lowest level of energy and you want to give up, just wait for the burst of strength and power to propel you forward. I like the word propel because yun gusto ko yung lagi yung word na propel. Yan po ginagamit yung mga yung mga yung propeller ng isang napalaking higanting eroplano na no, made of metal can you, can you imagine how you know a heavy metal airplane can just lift up just like that it is being pushed propelled by mighty propellers so that it can lift up in the sky when you are at your lowest level of strength Marahil yung ilan sa inyo ngayong umaga dito yung ang daming bumubulong sa iyo. And you are feeling that you're losing your strength. Wait for your second win. And all it takes is for you to continue no matter the feeling, no matter what you're going through. Tuloy-tuloy ka lang. The next thing you know, you catch your second win. Everybody say, Amen! Isaiah 40, 31, it says, But those who continue to wait, to trust, to hope on the Lord shall, what's the word? Renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles. They shall run. Come on, come on, continue. What's the next line? They shall run. They shall walk. That's the power of just never giving up. A few months ago, I think that was last month, we visited our missionary that we have been supporting so, so many years, and he's a missionary in Malaysia. So we were able to catch up with him. Uh, and we found ourselves, to, I, I found myself talking to this missionary, and uh, talking about so many things, about ministry, about the struggles, about the challenges he was facing in missions. Until finally, we napag-usapan namin yung, you know, how to keep healthy, how to keep yourself healthy. So he used to be so fat, now he is so lean. No? So I go, oh, what's your secret? So, and he was telling me, Pastor, I've been running. Not just running, Pastor, I, I'm, I'm running a marathon race. I've been joining marathon races and and I ask him uh, ano na ba yung uh, pinakamahaba mong run yung long distance run and he said uh, I can run for 120 kilometers sabi ko napagalo ko sabi ko really? Ako, ako 2 kilometers lang yung, <laughs> napapagod na ako how, how are you able to how am 
nagagawa yan ka ako. Sabi niya, of course, pastor, it requires training and preparation. Pero sabi ko, ha, but how do you do it? Could you tell me a little bit of a kahit simpleng sikreto lang? You don't to tell me about the science of running, but just in a layman's term, can you just tell me how you do it? Sabi ko, o oh, simple lang, pastor. Ito lang ang bibigay ko sa'yo, sabi niya. It's really about proper running and proper briefing. And when he said that, sabi ko, wow, it makes sense because lately I've been doing some swimming and and the people that are good in swimming tells me that kapag natuto kang huminga, you know, you can swim. So he said, it's about proper running and proper breathing. So, sabi ko, uh, how's that? Sabi niya, okay, so nag-demo siya sa akin. So, so eto pala yan. So if I could just stay. All right. Nakikita niyo po ba ako? Hallelujah. So, demo, demo. Hallelujah. Sample. So, sabi niya, Pastor, dapat, you have to be sure na kapag tumatakbo ka, hindi yung flat-footed ka. Kasi kapag itong heel mo na to ay tumatama sa lupa, eventually, it will wear out. So, it will even damage your bones here. So, so dapat, pag tumatakbo ka, hindi, yun na ka ganun. So, oh, yeah, yeah. Pakikita niyo po ba ako? Yeah. O, ano, sabi ko, parang, tsaka para mas magaan kaysa doon sa... Ma, hindi ka nga tatagal. So, so dapat talagang para kang laging naka... Can I hear an amen? Hindi po ako expert, by the way. <laughs> Now, sa, sa briefing naman, ganito yan, Pastor, kasi, sab, kasi sabi ko, siguro ito yung... This, this, this is where... Uh, ito yung struggle ko. Sabi ko, kaya hindi ako tumatagal kasi this is how I run. Yung, <laughs> Have you ever run like that? <laughs> That's not how you breathe, Pastor. Sabi niya, hindi ganun ang pagtakbo. This is how you run. Yung may pacing ang running. Like, you got one to four, one to five, like this. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One. That's how you run. Hindi yung... <laughs> and I think most of you can identify. Can I hear an amen? See, it's how you run and it's how you breathe. Sabi ko, wow, tama. Kasi niya, may pacing. Kasi, kasi kahit sa swimming, ganun yan. Ganun lang yan eh. Si parang sa running din, ganun din pala. Tatagal ka sa pagtakbo. Kapag tama ang pagtakbo, tama ang paghinga. Can I hear an amen? Can I hear an amen? You build your stamina and endurance by proper running and proper breathing. Could you please tell your neighbor right now, continue. Come on, hallelujah. On the other side, tell your neighbor, tuloy, tuloy lang. Hallelujah. Whew. I hope you learned something today. Hindi ako magtataka na paglabas ng ilan sa inyo. <laughs> you, start, you, <laughs> you will practice that. And we say, Amen. Second Peter 3.18, it says here, but, what's the word again? Continue to grow and increase in God's grace. I like that. San tayo sinachallenge ni Lord na magpatuloy? He's telling us, continue to grow where? In God's grace. Why God's grace? Kasi ang sinasabi ng Holy Spirit sa atin ito, kapag nagdepende ka sa sarili mong lakas, sarili mong talino, sarili, sarili mong power, hindi ka tatagal. Because God's grace empowers you. See, ang grace, ang ibig sabihin niyan, you don't depend on your own strength. Alam niyo, kaya, kaya yun sa atin, nangihina, nanlulupaypay, kasi nagdepende ka na sa sarili mo eh. That's why you need the grace of God. Grow and increase in God's grace. Where you find yourself, Lord, without you, I cannot do it. Without you, Lord, di ko kaya. Look at Paul talking in 2 Corinthians 12, 9. Si Paul, marami mga pinagdadaanan. In fact, uh, nagpray pa nga siya, Lord, nag, si Paul, parang ta, sa, tayo rin po, kumisan, sino po yung nagpray na minsan dito? Lord, Lord, alisin mo na nga ito. Kayo po ba nandyan pa? Huwag naman sana yung asawa mo. Hallelujah, no? Lord, saw, sawa na ako dito, Lord. Si Paul, nagpray minsan, Lord, you, can you take away this? 
So, ano ano masabi ni Lord sa kanya? Each time na nag-pray si Paul, na Lord, alisin mo to, ito ang sagot ni Lord sa kanya. Each time he said, ito sabi ni Lord, Paul, my grace is all you need. Because my power works best in weakness. Weakness to you. When you realize that without me, you cannot do it. You cannot do it. So now, ito na sabi ni Paul. Ito na. Okay, Lord. Okay, okay. I'm glad to boast about my weaknesses so that the power of Christ can work through me. Look at verse 10. That's why I take pleasure now in my weaknesses, in the insults, hardships, okay lang, persecutions, and troubles that I suffer for Christ. I like this line, for when I am weak, then I am strong. Everybody said amen! amen. His grace is enough. His grace is all I need to see me through. Peter said, continue. Don't stop. Don't quit. Don't give up. Until you catch your second wind. Until breakthrough happens. Keep on relying on his power and his strength. That same grace will give you the grace to do good. Everybody said amen to that. Hallelujah. You and I were created to do good. How many of you believe that God is good? You see, kapag naiintindihan mo ng todo yan, nararanasan mo araw-araw yan, eventually it will rub off on you. And the next thing you know, if God is good, you will be good as well. Hallelujah. Can I hear an amen? Nagiging mabait ka na tao. Nagiging mapagbigay ka na tao. Hallelujah. Nagiging mapagbigay ka. Dahil ang Diyos mapagbigay. Hallelujah. And everybody said amen. So continue with the grace to do good. Ephesians 2.10. What does it say? For we are... You know, it's either even translation for we are for we are his poetry, for we are his workmanship, for we are his work of art. Hallelujah. God is an artist, and you are his masterpiece. And everybody said amen. And everybody said amen. And he started in your life something good, and he will finish it. You know, by the way, you will end up beautiful. That's why yung katabi mo guapo at maganda yan. Hallelujah. Kahit ganyan yan. Hallelujah. <laughs> For we are God's poetry. Work of art. Created in Christ Jesus. What? To do good works which God prepared in advance for us to do. And we say amen. Galatians 6, 9 and 10. So let us not get tired of doing good. Of doing what is good. Because at just the right time, if you will continue, we will reap a harvest of blessing if you don't give up. First Corinthians 15, 58 says, So my dear brothers and sisters, be strong. Pwede ba encourage yung katabi mo sa mga Be strong. Ooh. I like that. I like that. Immovable. Hindi na titinag. Hindi na wiwindang. <laughs> Always work enthusiastically for the Lord. For you know that nothing you do for the Lord is ever useless. Nakikita lahat ni Lord dyan. So, keep on doing good, keep on serving, keep on loving. Pastor, di ko na kaya. Mahalin mo pa rin yan. Nakakainis siya. Mahalin mo pa rin. And we say, Amen. Amen. Oh, practice. Tell your neighbor, Mahal kita, kamu, 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 sabi mo, sabi mo, kahit ganyan ka, hallelujah. Keep on loving, 
keep on helping, keep on forgiving, keep on serving, keep on giving. Everybody say, continue. Tuloy lang. Come on, palapakan natin si Lord. Hallelujah. 2 Peter 3.18 says, continue to grow and increase in God's grace and with intimacy with God. In other words, Paul is, or Peter is encouraging us to continuously pursue Him. Seek Him. Know Him. Don't stop seeking God. Habulin mo siya, hanapin mo siya. Mahalin mo siya, sambahin mo siya. Kilalanin mo pa siya. Why? Because to know Him is life. To know Him is power. Continue. Don't stop. Your breakthrough can happen anytime. And everybody said, Amen. Pwede bang this time, yung medyo may hawak sa, sa katabi yung ganyan. Sabi mo sa kanya, brother, sister, tuloy natin, come on, tuloy natin, come on. Tuloy, tuloy ito, come on, hallelujah, rabas. Hallelujah. Tuloy, tuloy lang, Amen. Sino po ang talagang may deep conviction that God is faithful in your life? Hallelujah. If God is faithful, continue. Amen? Kasi siya, hindi nag-give up sa'yo. Hindi napapagod sa'yo. Ganyan ka. Hallelujah. Pinagtsatsagaan ka pa rin niya. Hallelujah. Pinagtitiis ang kanya. Hallelujah. Hindi siya mag-give up sa'yo. Mm, hallelujah. So God is saying to you, if I don't give up on you, don't give up. Continue. Maybe that's just the word for you today. Maybe that is just what you need today. Tuloy lang. Continue. And everybody said amen. What I'm going to do today is I'm going to show you a, a short video clip that, that I believe that really captures the heart of the message today. You know, it's a short video clip that is quite an inspiring story. When I, you know, when I watched this, this inspiring story, I was tremendously challenged and even inspired. And I hope it will challenge and inspire you as well. Can I hear an amen? Okay, let's watch this video clip. 